Hello YouTube, this is a VR to West Virginia Piper for his 250 subscriber contest. Uh, WV Piper wanted us to tell you a little bit about our hometown or where we are. Um, and that has possibly been the cause of some delay on my part because I had great plans of getting out and about and showing you the area around here and uh, I did actually manage to achieve some of that in the very brief gaps between bad weather when I was also available uh, but I was using um, a stills camera with a video function which didn't work very well uh, and then I find when I managed to get said snips of snaps of film onto my Nexus, which is the device I'm talking to now, I find that there is little or no decent video editors for Android. Um, there are one or two, but for whatever reason they're not available for this device. So, I will have to promise to give you a guided tour of the locale at some future date. And in the meantime, you will just have to put up with me rabbiting on and telling you about the place where I live. <clears throat> I live in a place which is too small to be a village, um, a hamlet, a little gathering of properties with the address of Sharp Tor. One word, S-H-A-R-P-T-O-R. Sharp Tor itself is, as the name suggests, a tour, a construction of nature's build, primarily of granite, um, and we and maybe a dozen residences shelter around its base. <clears throat> um, the area in general uh, was originally famous for uh, copper and tin mining and there are also reports of uh, a number of quarries in the area uh, at least one or two of which are still going today uh, quarrying granite primarily and the uh, tin mines uh, and the copper mines have all but gone um, and all you see now is the remnants of building foundations and the occasional part-preserved engine house. Um, but, as I understand it, the mines continued until the early 1900s, <coughs> when they were finally allowed to uh, slip away into oblivion. Further into Cornwall, uh, some of the mines continued until maybe 15-20 years ago, when they, they finally um, became uneconomical to continue with. So where are we? We're in South East Cornwall in the southwest tip of England. Um, apart from the mining industrial heritage we have around here, the vast majority of what we have now is uh, farming and tourism. We get a fair number of walkers, we get a fair number of people cycling and riding in the area, lots of uh, equestrian activities. Um, and we're up on the edge of Bodmin Moor, so we also have livestock running uh, free across the moor. And um, that keeps us quite on our toes when we're driving around the area. Uh, locally we have, uh, well, we're about uh, a mile and a half from the nearest village. Actually, that's not true. There is a village at the bottom of Sharp Tor, um, but it hasn't got any shops or anything like that, so I don't really count it. Um, <clears throat> so the nearest village with shops is probably Minions, um, which has got things like the Cheese Ring, which is a reasonably well-known natural rock formation. Um, if you Google the cheese ring, that's a cheese with a W-R-I-N-G on the end, you'll probably find a, a 
picture of what looks like an impressive pile of pebbles but let me tell you that pile of pebbles is a very big pile of pebbles uh, and it's also got two granite stone circles um, like a very small version of Stonehenge the, the stones are probably no more than four to six feet tall um, but there are two circles pretty much side by side <coughs> known as the hurlers uh, and local legend would have you believe that um, these circles were made up of people who were caught dancing on the Sabbath and turned to stone as a result. Right now, it's um, it's an area people go and take happy snaps and picnics um, amongst the uh, the sheep and the cattle and the horses. So what else have we got in the area? Well, I don't know. Looking at my notes, we've got um, Evie Thompson, uh, uh, an author that some of you may have heard of, who often includes Sharp Tour and the Sharp Tour locale in his books. Uh, we're about 25 miles from Plymouth, um, from whence the uh, Pilgrim Fathers set sail in 1620. Um, uh, I think it probably took them a year or two to finally establish themselves um, and establish their version of Plymouth in the US of A. Um, but other than that, I don't think we've got many great claim to fame. Oh, there's Jamaica in, uh, up on Bolventor, which is not too far away, um, <clears throat> which I'm sure that uh, any literary fans will have uh, heard of um, but that's probably about it so we're a nice rural little community maybe a dozen residences up and down the hill um, to be honest it's almost in two halves the top half of the hill uh, there's what maybe half a dozen residences <coughs> and we know each other reasonably well and then there's the bottom half of the hill where the rest of the people might be and um, we know them to nod to really um, yeah I, I can't say as I know them particularly well but everyone gets on everyone minds their own business and it's generally a happy quiet peaceful place to be so I hope that uh, little tale of the locale area uh, suffices at this moment in time I will find a way of giving you a guided tour of the exterior shots it's quite a frightening thought isn't it Kernicus Rax in the wild but it happens from time to time I am allowed out from time to time but until then this is the best I can do so uh, I think I better congratulate you on your 250 subscription milestone, which I'm sure is a distant memory by now as you undoubtedly sailed forward. <coughs> and um, wish you every success for the future, Mr. W.V. Piper. Also known as Kevin, I believe. Thank you very much. Good evening. <coughs>